in this session we will discuss some important questions as well as the questions appeared in the last previous year of the IIT JEE. Especially the topic is biomolecules in which we are taking today the carbohydrates, proteins and the nucleic acids. The question 1, the following carbohydrate is that is appeared in the IIT recently 2011. The options are given a keto hexose, option B an aldo hexose, option C an alpha furanose, alpha D a beta pyranose. Actually originally it is an a aldehyde containing a 6 carbons. This is the, therefore aldo hexose actually the containing the OH second and third and the fourth, fifth and the sixth one CH2 OH. This is actually a glucose D glucose actually, but the fifth OH the hydrogen plus adds on the O and becomes into a cycle. A while forming the cycle the H coming this side OH going to the left side is called beta formation. So, O will be in the ring form. Now, the first carbon and the fifth carbon in the chain formation. So, this type of uh, the remaining OHS will be intact as such. So, this type of ring formation is called uh, this a uh, 5 membered with 1 oxygen, 5 carbons with oxygen is called pyron ring, pyron ring. So, therefore, a pyron ring is there and that to the OH if I write in the chair form like this. If the first carbon if the OH is down, if the OH is up this is the only the difference here if it the OH is there it is called alpha, if the OH is here it is called beta either of one only either this one or that one. So, we have a now the right now the OH on the, the upper side so therefore, it is beta. So, it is a beta Pyron, pyron type therefore, beta glucopyranose. The gluco however, it is referring to the name, but it is a, a pyranose. In general, it is a beta pyranose it is. So, the option D is the right answer therefore. Let us see the question number 2. The change in the optical rotation of freshly prepared solution of glucose is known as appeared in 2011 AEEE exam. So, the um, options given is the tautomerism, racemization, specific rotation and the muter rotation. So, the glucose will have the actually three forms open chain and the alpha glucose and the beta glucose. When you crystallize into the, the um, through the hot method and the cold method two different glucose are giving different having the different optical rotation, but as the time passes uh, equilibrium sets that is one changes uh, slowly decreases and the other one increases and will give a, a norm that is a average type of the optical rotation that is um, plus 52.7 that decreasing or increasing as the time passes changing the rotation mute means changing rotation. So, the option D is the right answer muta rotation is the right answer changing optical rotation. Let us see the question 3. A decapeptide molecular weight 796, 796 it is a decapeptide that means a 10 amino acids a, uh, containing peptide and uh, on a complete hydrolysis gives a glycine with a molecular weight it is giving different pieces one is glycine with the 75 molecular weight and the second one is a, a alanine, the third one is phenyl alanine, third one is phenyl alanine. These three pieces are formed. The glycine contribution is a 47 percent eh? and not in the original compound, but in the to the total weight of the hydrolyzed products. So, the all the hydrolyzed products uh, the molecular weight that is the total molecular weight of this one will be 796 plus uh, there is a, a 9 uh, peptide bonds will be there C O and H uh, bonds uh, with 10 amino acids will have the 9 peptide bonds. So, therefore, it consumes a 9 H 2 also you have to add a so 9 into 18 
this uh, units you have to add. So, you will get the molecular weight. In this molecular weight, uh, 47 percent is the glycine. The 47 percent is the glycine. So, this molecular weight uh, in that 47 percent how much that is divided by the 75 around you will get 450 that 450 divided by the 75 you will get the 6. So, therefore, 6 glycine molecular weight what you have to do is you have to calculate the molecular weight the given one plus 9 H2O molecular weight add it you will get a molecular weight. In this molecular weight 47 percent uh, means what? So, you derive that 47 percent is equal to it comes to a 450 that 450 divided by the each a glycine is 75. So, there how many glycine units means a it will have the 6 glycine units are there. So, the answer goes to the therefore, 6 is the right answer that is the answer D is the right answer. Let us see the fourth question the presence or absence of hydroxyl group on which carbon atom of sugar differentiate the RNA and the DNA. The full form of the RNA is ribonucleic acid, ribonucleic acid. Ribose is nothing but a, a 5 carbon carbohydrate, 5 carbon carbohydrate. Second one on the left side, other two are the on the right side. This is called what? ribose. So, this will be there in the RNA. In the DNA except this oxygen except this oxygen that means, 2 deoxy ribose will be there in the DNA rest party will be the same. So, third OH and the fourth OH will be same, fifth one CH 2 OH also will be the same. So, therefore, where is the difference between the, the sugar part of the RNA and the DNA is this is a ribose this is 2 deoxy ribose 2 deoxy ribose the original one is ribose this is called ribose so only the difference between this is at the second carbon that is a answer goes to therefore b answer b is the right answer let us see the question number 5 the total number of basic groups in the following form of uh, lysine is a lysine is a amino acid containing the COOH and the NH2 and uh, having uh, been attached with a, a 4 carbon unit and at the end you have a another NH2. Originally the compound is like this, but however in the lysine the structure what he has shown is one hydrogen is a shifted from this side. So, therefore, it will become the minus one hydrogen is ha added to here. So, it will become plus when once the COOH original acid removed this uh, H plus means this will become the basic group. This is the basic group originally this becomes the acidic group. So, a base NH2 after adding the proton will become the the acidic group. So, the question is here the number of basic groups means this is one basic group original one and COO minus is also a basic group. So, therefore, either way if you say the NH2 NH2 also 2 comes only, but uh, this is the right now the basic group and the NH2 is the original basic group. So, the answer is therefore, 2 is the right answer. So, therefore, answer B is the, the right answer. Question number 6. Biuret test is not given by. Biuret test is actually a any amino acid and condensed form uh, if you have a peptide bonds uh, that the NHCO bonds when it is treated with the copper sulphate you will get a blue colored solution because of the complexation. So, the carbohydrates will not give this test and uh, polypeptide will give this reaction. Urea also on heating gives a, a biuret formation. So, therefore, this gives uh, proteins also will give. So, the which one will not give the negative question. So, therefore, except the A answer A is the right answer except the A all other compounds are going to give the biuret test and the A carbohydrate will not give the biuret test. Let us see the question number 7. The correct statement about the following disaccharide. Disaccharide means two monosaccharides are joined like glucose and fructose and so on. So, in this case uh, also similarly one glucose and the other one fructose is joined here. So, the ring A he says uh, the, that is the six member ring and the five member rings are labeled as A and B. 
options are given is here as A is a ring A is pyranose and with a alpha glycosidic linkage that is a here we have a, a 5 member drink with a, the OH will be down. This O is linked to the, the next compound and it is also shown slightly bent structure as shown. So, it is linked to the F5 member ring here. So, this is a 6 member ring, this is a 5 member ring. A 6 member ring is called pyranoside ring. This is a furanose. Furanose is the second carbon is involved. The pyranose first carbon is involved. The OH is down with reference to the first carbon. So, therefore, this is called alpha linkage and this is a pyranose with alpha linkage. Furanose is having also the alpha linkage, but the second carbon is involved in the linkage 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 CH2 OH. This is also CH2 OH. Okay. So, the ring A, ring A, this is ring A with the alpha glycosidic linkage means uh, the one which opens and closes this OH uh, is makes to open here. So, therefore, this particular OH is called glycosidic uh, hydroxy group and this is uh, linked in the there to the next. So, therefore, it is the right statement is ring A is uh, pyranose with alpha glycosidic link is the answer A is the right answer. Answer A is the right answer. The other answers like uh, ring A with furanose, this is uh, pyranose actually the statement is wrong. Ring B is furanose, okay, but alpha glycosidic linkage, is not it? Ring B is furanose with uh, alpha means uh, also partly correct, but uh, ring B is a uh, pyranose with uh, alpha glycosidic linkage. Ring B is a, uh, so that side is, is saying uh, pyranose that is also wrong. So, therefore, statement 1 is the absolute statement. So, the option C is ring B is furanose, but B beta, beta means uh, he says the OH, upper OH is linked. So, what is happening is here it is a alpha linkage. So, therefore, option C is wrong. Ring B is pyranose, ring B is not at all pyranose. So, therefore, this is also wrong. So, therefore, option A will be the absolutely right uh, having a pyranose ring connected to the beta type alpha type of the linkage. So, answer A will be the right answer. Let us see the question number 8. The two functional groups uh, present in a typical carbohydrate are, it is a question asked in the AEEE 2009. The option A is OH and COOH, B is a aldehyde and COOH, option C is a, a carbonyl group and OH, option D is OH and CHO. Here, option D is also partly correct, but uh, absolute right is option C because the general statement is a optically active optically active um, then um, um, polyhydroxy polyhydroxy carbonyl compounds carbonyl compound this is the definition for the carbohydrates so you must have a optically active center with a polyhydroxy minimum at least two OH groups and a carbonyl group. Here you cannot define the carbonyl group whether it is aldehyde function or uh, the keto function. We cannot say whether it is ketone or aldehyde. Either of one can be present. It can be an aldehyde, it can be ketone. So, if you see the option C, it is uh, saying uh, it is a carbonyl function and OH. Option D is OH and aldehyde there may be some ketones also because a fructose is a ketone. So, in such a way the D will not fit for the fructose definition. So, therefore, in general they are only the carbonyl group is correct uh, not specifically ketone or aldehyde. Any carbonyl group mentioning as a carbonyl group is the right statement not as a specifically ketone or a the aldehyde saying these two both is right uh, wrong. So, therefore, the option C is a carbonyl group and uh, hydroxy groups. So, these two groups are uh, present in the, the carbohydrates. Option C is right therefore. The question number 9. 
alpha d plus glucose and uh, beta d plus glucose are a triple e question 2009. So, here the glucose originally as uh, we have seen uh, it is an open chain structure containing the 6 carbons, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th CH2 OH, these are all OH groups. Uh, right? This is the open chain structure, but the 5th H uh, this uh, hydrogen will add here. So, the the OH may to go to the alpha side and making a, a ring structure and or a, the OH may go to the left side making the beta type of the carbohydrate. So, we both these two compounds so the right side one is called alpha, the left side one is called beta both are in equilibrium and the first carbon in the glucose is called anomeric carbon and these two forms are called anomers. In fact, uh, anomers is a, a special category of the epimers. Here you can say C1 epimers, but they are interconvertible. Epimers are general, epimers are not interconvertible. They are interconvertible through the open chain. So, therefore, beta glucopyranoside and the alpha glucopyranoside both are interconvertible type of the glucoses. They are ring forms, uh, cyclic forms going on, exchanging through the open are called what? Uh, anomers they are specifically called anomer therefore answer c is the right answer let's see the question number 10 the term anomers of glucose refers to so almost similar question as the ninth question the statement a is isomers of glucose that differ in configuration at carbons 1 and 4th carbon Option B is a mixture of D and L glucose. C is enantiomers of glucose. Option D is isomers of glucose that differ in configuration at carbon 1. That is what we have seen just now. The carbon 1 of aldehyde function in the open chain structure becomes into the cyclic form. While forming the cyclic form, fifth OH will react with the aldehyde forming a hemiacetal and uh, carbon 1 will become now the chiral carbon. So, while the attacking the fifth OH, the OH may go to the left side or right side with reference to the ring form it may be down or up, down one is called alpha, upper one is called beta. So, the alpha and beta glucose only differ at the only first carbon. So, therefore, they are called at a C1 anomers or specifically they are anomers specifically at the first carbon. Therefore, answer D will be the right answer. Let us take the Next question, question number 11. The secondary structure of a protein refers to a protein uh, is a, a poly uh, amino acid, but the just poly amino acid is not the protein. After uh, so many amino acid joins into a, a particular sequence, the sequence uh, of with a different specific uh, intervals, different uh, amino acids is known as primary structure. After forming the primary, the helical formation or the, the ring type spiral formation is called a secondary structure. These so many spirals uh, will, will spin into a, a rope type of the structure or little complicated structure which is called a tertiary structure and the outside uh, huge bundles of this uh, same molecule, one molecule only, it looks like outside what structure comes is called the tertiary quaternary structure, but he is asking about the secondary structure. So, the um, alpha helical backbone option B is a hydrophobic interactions, option C is a sequence of amino acid that is the primary structure, option D is fixed configuration of a peptide backbone. So, here the actually with a, a spiral formation that is helical formation of the uh, continuous chain is known as the secondary structure. So, answer A, 3A is the right answer. A chain is formed, this is called primary structure. The chain will go on spiral up, this up, uh, spiral up and that is called secondary form and that chain will have a rope type formation tertiary and then leads to the quaternary. So, secondary structure he is asking that is the helical backbone formation is known as the secondary structure. 3A is the right answer. So, let us go to the question number 12. The two forms of D glucopyranose 
obtained from the solution of d glucose are called uh, that is uh, a glucose when you make a solution heart concentrated solution go either by the hot method or cold method get the crystals these two crystals are differing in the at C1 carbon when the ring is formed they are said to be anomers the question already repeated and this is a the straightforward question answer goes to the B anomers is the right answer. Let us see question number 13 which of the following pairs give positive tolerance test. The tolerance test is a ammonical silver nitrate when this reagent is added if really aldehyde function is there they gives a this silver mirror formation that is aldehyde is oxidized to acid for example if glucose is there glucose becomes into gluconic acid and the silver plus one is reduced to silver metal that metal is deposited on the inner side of the walls on the this test tube will give it a silver mirror formation the test is also known as silver mirror formation only aldehydes are supposed to give this test but unfortunately what happens uh, even fructose uh, which is having a ketone actually a ketone is there in the fructose in the glucose uh, aldehyde is there this is a, a glucose this is a fructose both have a this is ketone this is aldehyde but uh, when the base is added because the tolerance reagent is a strong base when base is added both goes into a, a form called a tautomerization through the tautomerization a in diol structure is formed so therefore a, a once this in diol is formed the glucose may go to the fructose fructose may go to this one even a mannose also will be in equilibrium with this one this is the in diol in diol even mannose also will come into the equilibrium with this one this is shortly known as a lobry rearrangement lobry rearrangement in this reaction even if you take glucose it will become fructose apart fructose if you take glucose glucose will become into mannose all three comes into the equilibrium therefore the question here the glucose sucrose is wrong answer glucose fructose b option b is the right answer you, there you take fructose which is a ketone supposed to not to give this reaction but uh, even fructose gives tolerance because a part of the fructose when you add basic medium it converts into glucose and then responds the reaction this aldehyde will become into the acid. So, therefore, reaction is taking place uh, the tolerance and the failing both these uh, tests are given by both aldehydes and the fructose the aldehyde specifically glucose fructose is the ketone even then it gives the reaction. So, the answer B is the right answer therefore. Let us see the 14th question the pyrimidine bases uh, present in DNA are there are a uh, two pyrimidines and two the, the purine bases will be there and the DNA will contain the uh, guanine always will be paired up with the uh, cytosine and uh, GCTA. There are four uh, units are there G and C will pair up T and A will be pairing up uh, with the double bond this is with the triple bond in the uh, codon formation and uh, uh, in the uh, DNA specifically the um, thymine will not be there instead of that uh, uracil will be there ok. So, therefore, if you see the cytosine and the adenine that is wrong answer cytosine and guanine it is also wrong answer cytosine and thymine C and T will be there in the DNA. So, therefore, answer C will be the right answer. So, only from the pyrimidines which two purines uh, and pyrimidines are present means cytosine and the thymine are the right answer. So, let us see the question number 15. In both DNA and RNA heterocyclic base and phosphate ester linkages are. So, there is a carbohydrate mainly either ribose or deoxyribose second carbon difference, but ribose is permanent in both the DNA and RNA. At a first carbon we will having a, a base attachment a third and five will have a phosphate. So, a, a sugar will be attached through the phosphate and again a sugar and again a phosphate and so on a long chain of sugar phosphate will be there. The sugar 
third carbon and fifth carbon are involved in the linkages. Whereas it, uh, first carbon of the, the sugar is linked to the, the a base. So, at everywhere the first carbon is linked to the a base. So, it is so on like that at every sugar uh, there is a, a phosphate alternatively sugar and the phosphate will be going on again a, a sugar will be there at sugar will have a 5 carbons at first carbon base will be attached at the fifth carbon is linked to the, the phosphate this fifth carbon is linked to the phosphate the third carbon is linked to this again phosphate. So, third and five are linked to the phosphates and the one is linked to the base. So, he is asking specifically a heterocyclic base attached at the first carbon and a, a phosphate yes that is between the phosphate which, to which carbon is linked means uh, the fifth carbon is linked at fifth carbon and the at first carbon 5 and 1 respectively of the sugar molecule is option 1 is the right answer. The other option 1 and 5 exactly reverse is the one that is wrong 2 and 5 is also wrong. 5 and 2 is also wrong. So, therefore, at the first carbon and the fifth carbon of a particular uh, sugar, the phosphate ester and the base is involved. 1, 3, if it is given also, you could have also gone for the that option, but 1, 3 option is not given. So, therefore, 1, 5 is the right option. So, answer A will be the right answer, therefore. Let us see the question number 16 which one of the following is reducing sugar? Reducing sugar means uh, a carbohydrate when you add the Tollens reagent or Fehling's reagent, the aldehyde function present in the carbohydrate oxidizes to the acid. So, therefore, reagent is oxidizing the sugar, whereas sugar is reducing the reagent. So, therefore, we can use this terminology, the sugar which can reduce the Tollens reagent we can ask this question. So, therefore, sugar is reducing the Tollens reagent. In the Tollens reagent, we will have a, a silver plus and this is reduced to silver 0. So, the aldehyde which he, we have added is going to oxidize to the an acid, a carboxylic acid. So, this is an oxidation reaction, this is a reduction reaction. So, an aldehyde containing function is going to reduce. If it is a disaccharide, at least that C1 opening that is glycosidic linkage should be one of the end then it will be undergo. If it is a polysaccharide many times if C1 are linked used in the linkage formation then this closed only one will be at the end will be open other aldehydes will be closed. Therefore, starch is a non-reducing sugar, cellulose is a polymer therefore, it is non-reducing sugar, glycogen is a polymer of the glucose actually glucose gives but when it becomes a polymer all the C1s are locked up. So, therefore, it is a non-reducing. Fructose is a no doubt it is a ketone but still as I said the fructose when you take in a basic medium it becomes into the glucose through the blobbery rearrangement. So, the glucose is going to respond. So, therefore, fructose is a reducing sugar though it is a ketone originally it is a in the form of a um, that is a tautomerism it gives a, a, a part of the fructose changes into the glucose and then respond this test. So, therefore, the aldehyde function is actually responsible, but the fructose in the ketone becomes into aldehyde function and then gives. So, the option D will be the right answer. So, let us go to the question number 17. Which of the which one of the following carbohydrates will show mutant rotation? A mute means a changing, rotation means optical activity. So, this optical activity as the time passes it changes is called mutant rotation. This type of phenomenon we observe in the glucose case. Glucose initially uh, it is a open chain structure, but when you make into crystallization through the different procedures, uh, we may prepare a alpha glucose and beta glucose separately. These will have the, the optical activity different values, but uh, as if you dissolve in a water uh, prepare a fresh solution, if you wait for some time the equilibrium comes into the the um, all three glucose open and the beta and alpha will come into equilibrium, where the optical activity will become a standstill that is up to that time the optical activity changes. This change in optical activity is known as mutant rotation. This is only possible for the generally in the molecules that is the carbohydrates in the form of the uh, monomers. So, the examples given option A is sucrose is a disaccharide, B starch is a polysaccharide, C 
cellulose is the polysaccharide so all these three compounds will not show this motor rotation only glucose shows this type all the monomers uh, probably shows this type of the uh, motor rotation but no monomer is given so the option none of these is the right answer so answer d is the right answer let's go to the question number 18 glucose and fructose form identical ozone because options are given they are monosaccharides option b they are reducing sugars option c they are epimers option d their configuration differ only at c1 and c2 the last statement c is the absolute statement in the glucose we'll have a at first carbon aldehyde second carbon oh and the body will be there let us say r1 and the fructose will have the the first carbon non chiral second carbon is carbonyl group uh, and this uh, will have the r2 let us say both these uh, compounds uh, are adding the the nh2 nh phenyl so first molecule makes a, a osogone second molecule is oxidized used for the oxidation and the finally what comes is a a di uh, hydrogen the first carbon second car in the in the fructose case uh, this is the fructose this is glucose both will give the same type of the osogone they are called glucosogone and fructosogone are proved to be the nothing but the same so therefore here what we are saying is r1 is nothing but the r2 so the body of the glucose and the fructose is same except the the first carbon and the second carbon the chemistry is different so because of this 1 and 2 are converted into a common uh, this osogone formation the rest part is anyhow it is same so therefore glucose and the fructose is giving the identical osogone so the formation of identical osogone shows uh, the difference is only at the first and the second carbons but the rest of the specifically the the that is the stereochemistry at c3 c4 c5 is identical c6 anyhow it is a non chiral carbon so therefore the statement uh, d is absolutely right so the answer d is the right answer let's go to the 19th glucose and mannose are options are given anomers b positional isomers c functional isomers d is epimers here the glucose and mannose will have the first carbon is aldehyde mannose also first carbon is aldehyde and the glucose will have oh on the right side mannose will have the oh on the left side the rest of the the chemistry will be same third one right uh, third one left uh, fourth one right fifth one right sixth one ch2 oh this is same in the um, fructose also the mannose this part is same so only at a uh, second and the second carbon we have a, a difference that to second carbon is a mirror image so this type of uh, a part of the carbohydrate is same a part is mirror image is called originally diastereomers in that diastereomers only one carbon is mirror image so we call specifically epimers specifying this particular carbon number also we say so therefore glucose and the mannose are c2 epimers c2 epimers so the option uh, therefore epimers is the right answer so answer d is the right statement let us see the question number 20 which of the following on reducing with sodium borohydrate gives equimolar mixture of sorbitol and the mannitol the glucose will have a, a, an aldehyde function at the first carbon rest is already reduced forms are there second third fourth fifth and the sixth one this on reduction this is the only the chiral carbon which we have the originally it is non chiral is going to be reduced uh, with sodium borohydride will give the ch2 oh so the whole thing is same so therefore uh, definitely you will get the the oh and the oh and the oh and the oh this is non chiral anyhow we are getting so therefore single answer will come here whereas fructose if you take uh, so this is the first carbon is non chiral second carbon is also non chiral the third one 
the fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. When you reduce with this sodium borohydride, what is happening is a second carbon which is non chiral will become into the chiral carbon now. So, while formation of the chiral carbon, the OH may go to the right side or uh, the OH may go to the left side. At second carbon, we have a the reverse symmetry containing product also may be formed. So, this type of formation is going to give equimolar ratio of the this orbital rest of the party this will be the same here. Yeah. This part will be the intact and the new chiral carbon formation will lead to give the two different types of the products OH right side OH left side whereas, in this case uh, this will become a non chiral part. So, therefore, glucose on reduction you would not get it, but the only the the fructose which will have a, a keto function will reduction will give this glucose xylose mannose all are aldehydes. So, therefore, aldehyde function when you reduce it will become a non chiral part. So, you do not get any equimolar ratios of the different products only fructose will have a ketone which is a non chiral is becoming into a chiral means uh, is a, 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 a trigonal planar symmetry when you are adding the H minus H minus may go to the from the upper side or the lower side leading to give the two different products. So, this formation is only in the case of fructose it is possible. So, therefore, answer a fructose answer is C. So, the answer C is the right answer. Let us see the question number 21. Structure of amylose A is a branch chain or B is a cross linked option C is a linear with a 1 4 linkage uh, linear with a 1 6 linkage. So, amylose is a, a polymer in which a chain of a glucose molecules will be attached in which it is a linear structure and the linkages are found to be at 1 and fourth carbon. So, therefore, answer goes to the the answer C is the right answer carbohydrate specifically glucose at the first carbon and the fourth carbon is going on linked. So, another glucose will be taken like that uh, fourth carbon and the first carbon is linked. Uh, so, C 1 C 4 linked uh, a poly carbohydrate it is uh, a polymer of the carbohydrate which is a uh, so therefore, answer C will be the right answer. Question number 22 which one of the following is non reducing sugar that is a sugar when you add either the tolerance are failing there is no reaction such a type of the carbohydrates are called non reducing sugar. So, the non reducing sugar you may observe in two cases when the carbonyl compound should be either in the ketone form or in the specifically that a keto group uh, when you have in the uh, cycle formation it comes into hemiacetal that hemiacetal OH is linked to the uh, first next by carbohydrate it will become a polymer. So, once it is there uh, that uh, the that is glycosidic OH is locked up uh, then the reduction property will not be observed here. So, here the glucose is a monomer which reduces the aldehyde function is there and it is a monomer. Arabinose is a single carbohydrate that is it is a um, monosaccharide which will have a aldehyde function. Fructose is a a monomer it is a ketone, but still it is reduced the because of the a lobby basic medium rearrangement gives to the a mixture of glucose and a mannose is formed therefore, they undergo the reducing property. And the last one sucrose, sucrose is a, a polymer of glucose and fructose both a, the that is glycosidic a, hydroxy groups are linked. So, therefore, the opening is not possible in the case of sucrose a, a non reducing property is observed glucose and the fructose both uh, glycosidic OHS are linked. Uh, so, therefore, the they cannot open up into the aldehyde groups uh, and then uh, neither the aldehyde or the ketone will not come when you open up because the linkages are in such a way that the, the glycosidic linkage that is the OH which is developed uh, in the formation of the cycle formation that itself is involved in the linkage. So, therefore, it is a non reducing sugar. So, the answer sucrose is a answer D is the right answer. So, let us see the question number 23 next question which ratio is always 1 in DNA the pairing always a G reacts with a, that is a 
makes a hydrogen bonding with the cytosine, guanine makes a coding with the cytosine and uh, T that is thymine will be uh, making a, a um, pair up with the uh, adenine. Case of RNA what happens uh, adenine instead of uh, the um, thymine uh, you will have a uracil. So, this uh, set will be there in the uh, DNA and uh, instead of uh, T you have a G, C and U, A will be there in the uh, RNA. So, here in the DNA T by A ratio of T by A or A by T both the ratio uh, stand uh, as a 1. So, A by T ratio is asking. So, A and when A is there definitely T will be there. So, A by T the number of A and number of T will, will become into the unit or, or 1 unity. So, therefore, in the DNA it is happens. So, A and the T will be equal number because the pairing always takes place when double helical structure is formed from one side T that is thymine the other side adenine will come and pair up. So, therefore, the number of thymine and adenine units will be same that is the number the same number is equals to unity. So, it will become 1. So, therefore, in the DNA A by T will become into the 1. Similarly, even G by C also will be 1, but uh, G by C is not given G by T and uh, U by T and C by T is given and uh, 1 from here, 1 from here need not to be 1. These two will be 1, these two will be 1 always. So, answer A will be the right answer therefore. Question number 24, clotting of blood is possible due to when blood is exposed to the air and uh, blood clotting is not takes place the flow will be continuously coming. So, therefore, we have a mechanism when blood is exposed to the air the, the blood uh, contains some following uh, this one which reacts with oxygen and becomes a net type of fibroin is formed. He is asking which type of the, the units are responsible. Globulins uh, is the first option, RBC is second option, white BC that is WBC is the second op third option, platelets is the th fourth option that is the uh, RBC and the WBC are the, the red blood cells and the capsules they are um, working as a oxygen carrying and the WBC is fighting against the pathogens and all that and the globulins are the proteinous materials, but the D is the the platelets are the actually which break up into the and then forms into the fibrosin and then clotting is takes place. Therefore, answer D is the that is the right answer platelets is the right answer. Let us go to the 25, which base is not present in RNA that is instead of thymine. Uh, we will have a uracil. Thymine will be there in the um, DNA. Thymine and adenine and guanine and cytosine, these four will be there in the DNA. Instead of thymine, uh, in the RNA, we will have a G and a, there will be a three times hydrogen bonding between G and C. Instead of thymine, U will be there, uracil and uh, adenine will be there. This is there in the DNA. So, which out of these four which will not be there means uh, thymine will not be there. In the place of thymine, uracil will be there as a, as a component, replacing component. Therefore, which base is not present means uh, thymine is not present. Therefore, A will be the right answer. Let us say next 26. The function of DNA, DNA is called a deoxyribonucleic acid which contains a, a base and a sugar unit and the a phosphate which goes on repeats and a long chain of polymer of a, um, nucleic acid is formed. This polymer will have in the two strings a double helical structure. A part of the helical will be uh, coming out and replacing that is the replication it helps and the duplicate of that will be coming out as a RNA that will carry the message and to synthesize the 
the proteins and uh, carries the message to the different uh, types of the um, instructions will be carrying on. So, the, the DNA uh, helps in what uh, he is asking first one in protein synthesis that is right absolutely because a, a part of the DNA will be replicated and comes out as a RNA messenger RNA and that gives the information to what type of protein is to be synthesized. So, B in replication that is in a creating one more a part is helping. So, the B is a also right. See the to storage of the genetic information next generation to generation at what age what to happen and all that is a already fixed in the DNA. Therefore, the storage of the genetic information is also one of the prime uh, the duty of the DNA. So, the next option is all of the above that is absolutely right A, B, C both are all the three are right. So, all the above is right that is answer D is the right. So, it helps for the protein synthesis, it helps for the replication, it helps uh, also to protect the genetic information. Question number 27 the best source of vitamin A. Vitamin A is also called as retinol. This uh, A will be helping in the uh, eyesight and all that and this is a main source for this one it is asked. So, orange S is source for the actually vitamin C, bean uh, is a protein synthesis and A and the carrot is the main source for the A wheat is uh, for the K and other uh, vitamins. So, here the carrot is there which contains beta carotene which will cut into the two parts and uh, each part will be acting as a retinol A and B. So, therefore, the A is a basic uh, that is a um, source for the vitamin A is a uh, in the carrots we get almost uh, uh, very closer to the uh, vitamin A structure not exactly the uh, vitamin A would not be there, but it is a precursor is available in the form of uh, beta carotene which is a red colored one. So, the, the carrots also red color of the carrot is due to the presence of beta carotene and which will be uh, sooner uh, uh, it will be biologically converted into the vitamin A. So, therefore, answer C is the right answer carrots are the main source uh, for the vitamin A. Let us so go for the question number 28. Deficiency of vitamin C causes vitamin C is a source uh, available in the different types of the lemon fruits and all that. When that vitamin C is a deficiency it leads to the what type of diseases he is asking. Scurvy disease it is the this is a uh, which is uh, due to the the teeth gums uh, uh, mainly affected here that is what a uh, vitamin C disease. B is rickets that is a D vitamin deficiency and uh, permenius uh, anemia it is a B vitamin disease uh, all of these is also wrong. So, the answer A is the right answer. Ok, let us go to the question number 29 which substance is not present in nucleic acid? Nucleic acid is made up of with the three basic units. One is organic base like a purine or pyrimidine. Another one is a, a carbohydrate like a ribose or deoxyribose and a phosphate unit. These three are the repetitive units with these three a long chain is formed which is a, a nucleic acid. In the nucleic acid what is not there he is asking cytosine, adenine, thymine these are all uh, essential units. D is a guanidine the, here the guanidine there is a, a similar word actually guanine will be the uh, a base which is required, but it is a guanidine. Guanidine is a totally it is not a, a base uh, which is a, a urea type of the compound with a NH and the NH2 NH2. This is nowhere connected with the pyrimidines and the purines. Pyrimidines will have a 1, 3 dinitrogen compounds is not it. These are called uh, pyrimidine units uh, and the purine units are 5 membered with the NH function. This type of the purine units will be there. None of them is there in the uh, either in the these two this is not connected to either pyrimidine or purine unit that is totally different. Guanine is a, a unit which is related to this type of compound. So, answer D will be the uh, guanidine is not the uh, base at all. So, the answer D will be the right answer. Let us go to the question number 30. Vitamin D deficiency causes uh, vitamin D is a uh, help in the 
uh, calcium deposition. So, therefore, here the uh, option A rickets that is the uh, bones bending takes place uh, chest bones and all that. So, the rickets disease uh, vitamin D deficiency calcium deposition to the bones uh, is the main defect will observed here. So, therefore, answer A night blindness is because of the vitamin A. Uh, xerosis and the loss of uh, appetite all these are the, the symptoms of the vitamin D. So, the answer A will be the right answer. Rickets is the disease which is due to the deficiency of the vitamin D absurd.